from heaven they're assisting us in every situation and in every moment to climb above huge obstacles that many many times we don't even recognize the creator himself is supporting our journey and bringing huge amounts of positive energy into our work and into our life from unexpected directions and every person should first of all in his life set his mind to trust in the creator in the greatest way that he can and how we do that how can we trust something we cannot see how can we trust someone that we cannot hear someone that is hidden from our eyes in so many ways someone that we just heard about from others how can we put all our trust on him when we cannot touch him when we cannot feel his existence and we're not even sure sometimes because of all the challenges that we're experiencing and the lack of comfort and lack of stability that we're experiencing in our lives the way to do that must come from within every person should be able to close his eyes and to connect himself to that inner unity that he sense within when your eyes are open wide and you look to the sides you see millions of different particles that are all separated as different bodies one from the other and therefore you cannot recognize how well connected they are and how actually they are all combining, completing and creating one unit, one creation that is reflecting the unity of the Almighty. But when you close your eyes, there is nothing there except of His greatness, except of the present time that you're experiencing with your loved ones that you are connected with him in a spiritual way your eyes on them the verse is saying um sakrot enaim mesakrot enaim is written with the letter shin instead of with the letter samech when it's written mesakrot enaim with shin and not with samech it means meshakrot enaim means that your eyes are lying to you that you should not follow your eyes you must close your eyes you should use the eye of your mind you should use the eye of the holy power of imagination that been given to you by the creator everything that we have in our lives been given to us by the divine one the creator he is light he is above physicality and therefore no one can see him no one can recognize his godliness because he is made out of something that is not physical therefore you cannot grab him not with your senses because your senses are built in a physical way sense of vision of hearing smelling tasting feeling all those senses are still physical even though that deep inside of them they are connected to a spiritual level their real connection to the source of our soul but when you sense things in the physical world even though they might be very gentle and thin and delicate they are still attached to physicality therefore they are still blocked and hidden and representing the creator through a certain filter and they themselves are still lying to you by blocking the endless light 
of the Creator. The light of the Creator is above physicality and therefore we cannot see Him when we are behind the curtain, when we are here in this physical world. This physical world is the world of lies. Alma de Shikra, the holy book, the Sefer that is called Sefer Zohar, the holy book that been written by Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, is defining this world as the world of lie. No matter what you see in this world, it will always be covered with lies because physicality does not exist in the true reality of our Creator. The Creator, He is above shape, He is above space, He is above time, He is above all sorts of physicality. And therefore, the wisest people, the wisest people that were able to investigate and to come to the depths of creation, they realized that all physicality is actually a very high speed of energy that is running in order and in patterns and in circles and in ways that are counted and measured in a very sophisticated and complex way not simple at all and for sure not designed by human beings and not by nature just by a godly hand from above the creator himself created a world that will filter his godly light and by that will make it accessible edible to people to bodies to souls that are trapped and locked and trapped in physical bodies to experience his godliness through those curtains of physicality who are we we are one in our souls but separated in our bodies we must reconnect ourselves to our spirits and by that we will reach the true nature of our souls and by that we will be connected to the truth as long as you live in the world of lies in world of illusions in world of distractions in world of imagination you are always falling back into the trap of the evil inclination that is pulling you and playing with you around showing you different people different opportunities different options and he is just arousing and pretending for you that you have opportunities to succeed and to achieve things that are really not exist in this world at all but when you close your eyes from all that scene from all that show that is presented to you from outside you are connected 100 percent to your inner light to the light of your soul and by doing that you are connecting yourself to the creator every person in this world must meditate every person that wants and desires the truth must close his eyes and learn how to breathe how to pull holy air from outside into the roots of his soul and to breathe and to live spiritually to connect yourself to who you are from within to reconnect yourself to your spiritual being to the holy spirit and soul that you are and by doing that you will find true happiness you will reconnect yourself to your true potential and you're going to unlock it and you're going to bring yourself to new inspiring destinies and forms that you're unaware of as of today you have an enormous power you have a great power you have spiritual tools to make changes in the world to bring down bounty to save and rescue lives of hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions and billions of people.
you're just not aware to your spiritual power you are limiting yourself by holding yourself as a physical body but you are not a physical body your physical body is carrying your soul that is who you are when moses asked hashem how the nation of israel will know that i am a messenger of the true god above how will they believe me the creator answered to him tell them asher shelachani elchem. the one that i am send me to you he is who he is the creator is who he is if you'll ask hashem who are you he will tell you i am who i am and now i want to ask you who are you who you are can you tell me yeah me i'm daniel oh me i am miriam me i am kim me i am ruth no that's not a good enough answer you are much more than that and you know that you're not just your name you are your feelings you are your thoughts you are your desires you are your passions you are your talents you are your past you are your future you are who you are so when i ask you who are you you will answer me i am who i am so basically you answer the same answer that the creator answered when I asked him who you are, he answered, I am who that I am. And when I ask you, who are you? You're answering the same answer. You know why? Because you are who you are. In the depths of your being, you are one with the Creator. Just that that beam of light that you are, that is the light of the portion of God been treasured in a physical body and therefore you feel the separation because the bodies are separated but in reality you and all your loved ones all your surroundings and all particles of creation are really one in their nature in their spirit in their existence and also the time the present time is only the existing now that you're experiencing also in the past you experienced the past in the present time when you were there and in the future you will experience it in the present time also the past and the future does not exist those are only concepts that are being used by us to explain something that we experienced or will experience in the present time. Except of the present time, there is no other time. And therefore, you have another evident for the fact that this world does not exist at all, except of that it is an existing experience of eternity you are just experiencing a certain portion of infinity in the current time and that's reality that you are one in body and you are one in time you're one in space and in mind with the true one that is united above us all from outside and from within and you are who you are so start use your spiritual power and make positive changes in the world if you believe that by singing you're going to change things that's a thought that crossed your mind you must sing if you feel that when you play the music making changes in the world you need to play if you feel, feel that by dancing, by your happiness, by illustrating, by working, by aiming your thoughts while washing your hands, you can make changes in the world, you should believe in your power. Because that's the power that's been given to you 
by the Creator to use in this world under His godly kingship of heaven and to do good. So count on yourself and let your beautiful spirit shine until the complete redemption will take place in our lives and there will be no more sorrow, no more pain, no more death, no more plagues, no more darkness at all. And may we all serve the one with a happy heart and a wishing soul and that all our prayers and requests will be answered in no time. Amen.